so I haven't made a video in maybe about a week or so. Um, just been trying to figure out the injector situation as far as I have 11 millimeter injectors, 14 millimeter rail. Remember last time that I said that um, I bought the adapters for 11 millimeter, 14 millimeter, but um, the adapters. Uh, excuse that. Uh, the adapters don't really um, fit into the uh, the fuel rail, so I have not yet got a micrometer to measure the fuel rail. Uh, kind of doing other things. I'm doing the ABS delete on the car right now. Well, it's already deleted. I'm running the hard line, so uh, that's what I've been working on. I did get the intake manifold on. Um, I learned a trick from a uh, a guy who sells the intake, but not the guy I bought it from that when they build rotaries just to hold o-rings and grooves they use 100 percent petroleum jelly you just put a little bit in there and magically it worked it, i mean it held the o-ring in place i mocked up the intake manifold three or four times and never came out so that was really 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 clutch because before i didn't know what i was going to do so i'm about to show you guys a little bit of what i'm doing right now um i had a mishap my fuel was leaking and I just painted the engine bay not too long ago, and all the all the paint just I mean peeled off. So I spent some time wiping it down, re-spraying that, uh, repainting it. Um, and now I got to the ABS delete. I was gonna do the Suspicious Garage uh, ABS line kit for 180. I was like, for a few bucks, the AutoZone. Let me just get the hard lines and try to mock it up. So that's what I did right now. Um, so let me show you guys that. All right, so here we are. This on the master cylinder just goes to your rear brakes. These go to the front too. So what I did was I bought for the rear is easier because if you look down here on the firewall, that's the uh, stock union that goes back to your rear brakes. It's teed in the rear because our master cylinders have a proportioning valve in the master cylinder. So what I did was we went to AutoZone. I believe it's part number PAJX351. It's the M10 by 1.0 uh, nuts, 3 16 inch line for Japanese model cars. I bought it a length of 31 inches. Bent it down, bent it around, down, and connected it there. This other one, um, you have to tee to those two front brakes. You can grab these tees right here off of any like early 90s model uh, Toyotas, especially the Corollas. Um, you know. Bought a 12 inch line, bent it, brought it down to the T. Um, I gotta cut this off with a grinder. I'm just doing mock up right now. That's the inlet. This is gonna go to front uh, driver. And the other one is gonna go to that side over there where that previous brake line is. Could I use that one? Yeah, I probably could. Um, uh, just gotta see. I might use it, might not. Probably will use it. Less work, just bend that line. But uh, that's what I do today. So the lines I have are right here. Have a, I believe this is a 51 inch line. This one is a 60 inch line. You guys need to go to AutoZone. Here you go. It's a PAJ351 stainless steel line. So oh. there you go. Also, the first look at the engine bay. So this area was all all messed up this morning. Had to repaint it. Um, let's get everything redone. So once I do these brake lines, I can go ahead and drop the motor back in. I'm just sitting right now. So yeah, man, it's a little update. And then I don't know. We'll see what I do next. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share. You know, my videos are crappy, man. Nobody wants to watch this. <laughs> but I'm trying. You know, get better content as I go. And just take videos. So thanks guys. I'll give you guys another video soon. So, uh, Virginia surprised us with some warm weather today. It's like 70, man. I'm here in shorts and t-shirts. Feeling like South Carolina, but finally finished the... Uh, uh, ABS lines and stuff. Um, looks pretty good, man. It's all hard lines. It works. I paid like 
Corolla T was a few cents or a dollar or something from the junkyard. Bought 12 inch line for like three bucks. Another 12 inch line for like three bucks, about six dollars. Bought a 51 or 60 inch line. That was like nine bucks. And then the passenger side used the stock line that goes into the ABS box. So 12, six. Oh, a union fitting to mate those two together. A few bucks. Probably about twenty dollars under for ABS delete instead of paying a hundred and eighty for the suspicious garage, which is the cheapest. You got PHR is like three hundred. So I mean it works for me, I don't have a sub car. I'm I'm not here to make boosts, make pulls and race, so I'm not worried about that pretty stuff. But let me go ahead and show you guys what it ended up looking like now. Alright, so here we go. You got the T that goes to the front left brake and then goes back comes up comes down I use these two little brackets to hold against the firewall comes over here comes down and this is a stock line it comes up here and it will come where the ABX box used to be so I bought this Union fitting 316 M10 by 1.0 join the two lines together and it goes into the front uh, front passenger brake and the other line just goes down behind the steering rack straight to the firewall so maybe it's the bleed front brakes are bled got all the old nasty shit out and I'm about to do the rear y'all just look at that look how nasty that is man all that old brake fluid in there Let's see if I can get it to focus yeah Nasty man, getting all that junk out, getting it nice and clear. Before at the ABX box, for some reason I could not get anything on my back brace; it wouldn't bleed. So, another reason for me deleting it. Um, just run straight hard lines back, and it looked like it worked. So, yeah, clear the engine bay and get back brace. I'll take that. That's a win-win.